Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. Commandment four, Sabbath. Jesus, the unique one. Um, over the next 20 plus weeks, we will talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Let me take you to Acts chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they behold, he was taken up in a cloud, received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olive, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall they labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it they shall not do any work, nor, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. For the six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them is, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Okay. Jesus, the unique one. We're going to talk about Christ's birth, doctrine, death, or life, death, and burial. Jesus is described as the unique one. John's Gospel, the first chapter. The Word became flesh and lived with us, and we saw his splendor, the splendor of the unique one from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 1, verse 14. We will list some of the things that makes Jesus Christ unique. Number one, his unique birth. The angel Gabriel said to the Virgin Mary, And behold, you shall conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and he shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Highest. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you, and so that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. Number two, his unique doctrine. It was said of Jesus by those who heard him teach, No man ever spoke like this man. John chapter 7, verse 46. Jesus himself claimed it, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6. Number three, his unique life. Jesus lived a life without sin. This is one reason why he could be the sacrifice for our sins. He was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 15. He committed no sin, neither was any deceit found in his mouth. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 21 through 23. Number four, his unique death. Nobody else could die as an offering for our sins of the whole world. He bore our sins in his body on the tree that we have died to sin might live for righteousness. By his stripes you are healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. With his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all having obtained eternal redemption. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 through 14. Number five, his unique burial. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he has risen. Thus it was written that the Christ should, should suffer and rise from the dead the third day. Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 9, and verse 46. And you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. Acts chapter 2, verses 26 through 27, 
and verse 31. For now Christ has risen from the dead and become the first fruits of those who have slept. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 20 through 23. Christ have been raised from the dead, dies no more, death no longer has dominion over him. Romans chapter 6 verse 9. Therefore we are buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we are we should walk in newness of life. Romans chapter 6 verses 3 through 6. Number 6 his unique promise. The point of all these things that make Jesus unique is that he can make a unique promise. In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you to myself so that I, so that where I live, you can live too. John chapter 14 verses 2 through 3. Just make sure Jesus is your Lord and Savior and make sure you're born again. Jesus. It's coming very, very soon. Jesus loves you. God bless.